today I've got another subscription box from the company Zobi Productions. So this is the, let me get up my little cheat sheet. This is the November 2019 Zobi Wrestling Box. Not wrestling, it is wrestling. R-A-S-S-L-I-N, -S -S the wrestling box. This box usually has like three items in it or so, usually an autograph. This month, they tease that there is an autograph Funko Pop in this box from a wrestler. So that should be very fun to see which one is in this box. So a little bit about this, but I also have a secondary package I'm gonna open it up. This I purchased from the company Dark Parlor Originals. And inside of this package is a pair of wrestling ring used trunks by one of my favorite wrestlers that I actually had to pay quite a bit of money for. And they're signed too. So I'm very excited to see this package. I'm guessing the person washed them after they used them in the ring. We'll just take my chances. I'm sure they probably got washed, but this I'm excited about. I'm really excited about the subscription box. We're gonna do this first. So here we go. This is, like I said, the Zobie Wrestling Mystery Box, November 2019. Three wrestling items in every box, autograph for pop in every box. The price of this box was $40. 40 bucks. I do have a promo code that can be used on their website. For 10% off of most everything on the website, use promo code KICKS10, that is K-I-C-K-S-1-0, for 10% off of most everything on the website. There are some exclusions usually, some like uh, very high-end stuff. It, it just varies. Most everything, no, 10% off. Or you can become a Zobi supporter for 20% off. I think it's four bucks a month to be a Zobi supporter and you get 20% off of most everything on the website. So there's two ways to save a little bit of money, your choice. We all like saving money, right? I do. So here we go. This started shipping on 11 29 2019. So everybody who bought this, you probably have this in your possession by now, more than likely, or you should have in your possession. Should, yeah, you probably do. The Zobi Wrestling Mystery Box will include three wrestling-related items. One of the items is an authentic Funko Pop authenticated by JSA. The leading authenticator in the country is JSA, James Smith's Authentication. That is the only hints that they give. They don't give hints of the wrestlers available. They don't give hints... This is a mystery box right here. Like, some months... They, they do special boxes. They do animation box, anime box, pop culture box, a horror box... There might be some more. And a lot of times I'll tell you like the movie franchise, the TV franchises are Christmas Vacation, Elf, and Christmas Story. It'll be the items from those three or those four or five. But this one, there's no hints. Pretty much, it'll be three items related to wrestlers. I'm sure the wrestlers could be WWE, maybe AEW, New Japan Pro Wrestling, Ring of Honor, Impact, past retired guys, but no matter what, if it's a signed Funko Pop from an active wrestler, then it's going to be somebody from the WWE. And WWE just released a new line of Funko Pops, like a new series of them. The Undertaker, Randy Orton, Elias, Trish Stratus, maybe a fifth one. So I'm guessing it's one of those people. Here we go. The pop is wrapped up in the middle. We will actually will do that totally last. Put it off to the side. Do that last. First thing, we got the monthly pin. Who is it? Oh, that's that's actually cool. We got Stone Cold. We got half the face of Steve Austin. The other half is kind of like the flaming, not flaming, like the Stone Cold, like the skull. That's actually a cool pin. Limited edition out of only 300 made. So there's probably a variant of this. Maybe no guarantees though. Then here we have an art print. And something else it looks like. Oh, it's just, oh. Art print with a cardboard backing. I'll show you first. Who we have. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, is that Eddie Guerrero? 
No? I, I'm, I'm, drawing, I'm drawing a blank on that. It is autographed by the artist, numbered out of 450. This is number 294 out of 450. Now, with the colors here and with the flowers, I'm thinking it's Eddie Guerrero. It has to be Eddie Guerrero. It's got to be Eddie. But anyway, we got a cheat sheet, but we'll, we'll do the cheat sheet last. Now it is time to reveal. I'm going to pull the cheat sheet, pull out the Funko Pop, and see who it is of. So. But actually, there's been past Funko Pop releases of wrestlers. It could have been from an older Funko Pop. There's it, it, no guarantee it's even from a new Funko Pop. So I, I'm just kind of guessing that it's probably from the new line of Funko Pops. I know Trish Stratus does quite a bit of conventions. And she has a Funko Pop that just came out. Undertaker. He's done a few conventions. But price point wise, I don't know how you could put Undertaker in, in, into a $40 box. I mean, I guess it's possible. I don't know how. But I don't know. Let's end, end the suspense because I'm curious of who this who this is of. Will it be the fiend Bray Wyatt? He's got a new Funko Pop out, an Amazon exclusive. I don't think it's out yet, or maybe it is. Maybe it is a fiend signed Funko Pop. Try not to look at it. You might have already seen a glimpse of it. Try to keep this a mystery for myself as long as possible. And three. Which one's the back? That's the back. Three, two, one. Who do we get? Oh, I see the back of it. Oh, I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy with that. We got Elias. Elias Samson. But now he pretty much dropped the Samson part of his name. Now it's just Elias. I like that. I don't have his autograph. I need his autograph for the collection. Oh, the other one is Becky Lynch from the new series. Becky Lynch was like the fifth pop. JSA authenticated. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out. Get a little bit of a closer look at it. This thing is, this whole box is only 40 bucks. Oh, and Bret Hart. Let's see, box condition. I'm thinking about my box condition on my collectibles. Box is mint. Box is good. So we got the Elias right there. There you got your JSA authentication sticker that, it, that this autograph sign was actually was witnessed or was authenticated by a JSA representative. And then on the back of the pop was the JSA authentication card, which will match the sticker number. For, yep, match the sticker number. And let's see. How much this pop cost? 10 bucks by itself. Elias, most WWE guys, active roster guys, they do a minimum of like 40 bucks for their autograph signings. A minimum. So I'm sure if he signed in bulk, he probably cut a better deal on it. I'm guessing. Or JR, who owned Zobi, just worked some magic and got this thing for a... I don't know, but 40 bucks and a, a live sign Funko Pop, that is crazy. That is crazy value. Because this is worth probably 60 to 80 bucks by itself as it sits right now. Jesse Authentication alone is 20 bucks. He has stuff authenticated in major bulk quantities. So obviously, if you do in bulk, you get a better rate. Just a person like me, if I paid for the authentication, the pop and the autograph, this would be like 10 bucks for the pop, 20 for this, autograph play a minimum of 40 bucks. So to, for me to get this thing done would be like 70 bucks minimum. I got it for 40. That's crazy. Okay, that's that's insane value right there. And if you are a wrestling fan, an autograph fan, a fungal pop fan, you should honestly see the value right here. Yeah, and they threw in a limited edition pen and an art print but pretty much everybody this month bought it for this item let's see cheat sheet okay there is the cheat sheet so your Funko Pop is hand signed by WWE Fred professional wrestler Elias authenticated with JSA yep is it this was it was Eddie Guerrero I was correct I thought it was because yeah the signs were there your exclusive fan art print features wrestler Eddie Guerrero Hand signed by artist Getza and numbered to 450. You had the possibility of two separate pens. You had Stone Cold or you had The Godfather, Papa Shango. And I got Stone Cold out of mine. The Papa Shango was out of only the 100. So this month, the value, this alone is worth 70 bucks as it sits. If you try to sell this thing right now as it sits, I bet it go over about 70 bucks. That's not a joke. So, crazy value. Very happy with this box. Very happy. Got one item left still that I purchased from, I said earlier, the company Dark Parlor Originals. Is actually a pair of 
ring worn trunks. I paid a lot of money for this because it's it's not very often ring worn accessories come up from wrestlers. And uh, Marty, uh, I, I, I just said his name, but the guy did a autograph signing with this company and he gave them one pair of ring worn trunks, signed them and they sold them. And of course I'm the guy who bought them because I'm a huge fan of this wrestler. I'm hoping these were clean. I'm, I guarantee they were probably clean. Awesome. Yeah, they actually, I, I can smell detergent coming off of these. Like, I, I actually honestly can smell detergent. We've got the villain, Marty Skrull. One of my favorite wrestlers in the business. He signed it. The villain, Marty, with his umbrella. And I actually have tried to look online to see whenever he actually wore these. And I think I have it narrowed down to one possibility, but I need to verify it still. But yeah, these actually were worn and washed a few times because you can actually can see uh, a little bit of cracking on the back where it says villain, where they've been washed and worn. So these were not just a one-time wear. These were worn several times. They're actually really heavy duty. And I'm sure that the wrestlers actually underneath these probably wear some form of underwear. Yeah, like a jock strap or something. And then you have your your authentication sticker, the authentication card, where it says item was hand signed by Marty Skrull. It was signed in the presence of a dark polar representative. But more than likely, I probably will send these off to be authenticated by JSA Authentication, the leading authenticator in the country, just to get this actually authenticated by them. So I got a pair of Ring Use Autograph Trunks and a Lies Funko Pop on the same video. How cool is that? So, I'll see you next time. The Villain, out. <laughs> <laughs>